Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. Today we are going to learn how to create a report with shared data set and deploy it to the report server. So let's go ahead and open SSDT SQL Server Data Tools. So think about a scenario where a single store procedure can be used by multiple reports or a query can be used by multiple reports. For those query or a store procedure, we can create a shared data so set and deploy to the report server. And then that can be used in the report builder to also create reports. So let's go to the file and go to the open or if you want to open a create a new solution, you can go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead new and project. In my case, most of the uh, places uh, I have used only one table from where I had been creating reports. Uh, so you could have created a shared data set for that table and use in all those uh, reports. Uh, so report server project, fine. Let's give this name. I'm going to call this one uh, DS. Uh, let's call this one sales reports and uh, hit OK. Now the very first thing we see here is called the shared data sources. I recommend creating shared data source if you are creating multiple reports from the same database. So let's go ahead and create shared data source. Right click add new data source and it is going to ask us a few questions. We are going to tell this one. So let's call this one DS sales and the connection string we have to provide here we can go to edit and then we can provide the SQL Server instance name. So here I have two instance names. I have SQL Server 2014 and the SQL Server 2016. Uh, if you have a lot of instances, it will take some time, but I recommend type in it instead of just going on the drop down. So let's connect to the SQL Server 2014 here. And then we need to provide the database name. That's going to be sales in our case. So test the connection and hit OK. Now our uh, share data source is ready hit ok and you can see that right here so we called it DS sales next part we would like to create a shared data set so I'm gonna right click here and the new data set and if you remember when I was telling about shared data source I, was, I told when you are creating multiple reports from same database and the shared data set when you're creating multiple reports and using the same table or a store procedure. So uh, th there is a difference between a data source. Data source is pointing to the database and data set is the result returned by your query. So uh, let's call this one D set sales. And uh, this is going to be select query from our table. So let's go ahead and create the select query. And in this case, I'm going to go to SQL Server 2014 databases. And here is sales database. That's where our data source is pointing. And now I'm going to use a total sale table. So select top 1000. I'm going to select every column because in different reports, I use different columns from this table. So I will be using this one as a shared data source. So I can select any column in any report what I need. So copy your query come back to the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools, paste your query. Now we are all good here and then we can see the fields and option and all that. So we don't really need to go in these tabs, hit OK. Next uh, we will be creating a simple uh, tabular report. Once we will uh, right click on the uh, reports here and then go to add and a new item. So I'm creating this report from scratch. It is going to create an empty report. So click on the report item and then provide the name. So let's call this one sale report and now add empty report will be created and we will see data sources and data sets right here. So we go to the data source, right click add a data source and here we will be providing the name. Let's call this one DS sales. So we can call this one anything. This is the kind of uh, reference to your shared data source. You can provide the same name what we have here and or you can call this one embedded or one or two or whatever. Let's say this uh, underscore RPT. So this can be different from your actual shared data source. So you can, but I recommend at least use the database it is connecting to. So you would know that, okay, from this sales 
name uh, the, this is embedded a name for the uh, that data source inside the report this is pointing to the sales uh, uh, share data source uh, so at least there is some connection uh, when you take a look on that in the deployment you will see oh okay this one in my report uh, should be pointing to the sales uh, so you can change uh, uh, to other data sources if you need to but at least from the name you can tell which uh, database it is using uh, we can also call this one uh, maybe db db sales uh, so we always know that it should connect to the db sales uh, and we know that ds sales is the data source that connect or use uh, the, the sales database so let's go ahead and use a shared reference here so ds sales and then hit ok next uh, data set right click add data set and now we are going to provide the name now here let's uh, let's have uh, discuss this part use a shared data set or use as a data set embedded in my report and remember i was telling you if you are creating a lot of reports from the same table or a store procedure you can uh, create this data set and uh, make it shared uh, so you can use any any other reports uh. so the same query will be used in uh, other reports uh. so let's call this one d set sales and uh, this is what we would like to use uh. we are not embedding in the report uh. so this one is shared and we would like to use it hit okay and uh, now we can see that all the fields are coming correct right click here insert uh, and the table now let's bring this few of the columns create our report quickly and uh, let's say region so that's all we need hit here and then uh, bold italic some color on the background would be nice create our report it looks all great and now we can preview our report the second part uh, from here is deploying uh, this report uh, so one of the major part we have a shared data set uh, I would like to discuss that part like how we will be deploying that uh, to the report server so let's go to the report manager and uh, here is our report server and we are connected to that one by using the report manager so as you can see here I do not have any folder called data sets so one of the thing we need to do here we can create a new folder and uh, that's where we can deploy those uh, shared data sets uh, so other reports can use uh, that uh, data set uh, or if uh, we are creating the report from the report builder uh, we can use that uh, data set uh, so we can create uh, by right uh, clicking here or we can create uh, when we deploy that uh, from the ssdt sql server data tools uh, so report is good let's deploy that report uh, to the server now so you see here shared data set uh, and uh, we have a report here i would like to deploy all of them so ds sales is a data source and the ds set uh, ds set sales is our data shared data set and report is sales underscore report now right click here and go to the properties and uh, here you will get some uh, configuration options so first of all it is asking like okay uh, override uh, override data sets if you would like to do it yeah, I'm, I'm fine I don't want to do it if uh, there is a database existing there I would not uh, override it the same goes for uh, override data sources I don't want to override anything if it is existing there and uh, target data set folder so see here this is what it is going to create so I if I don't like this small and if I like to make it big I can make it capital or underscore anything I can give here so when it is going to deploy it this is the folder it is going to create second a target data source folder so it is a same data sources so there is a space between that if uh, you have that already fine it is not going to drop it it will just deploy that uh, data source so that's great now we can leave that as it is as we have it and report parts uh, if uh, you are deploying some report parts uh, that will be going to sales underscore reports uh, the, sorry the if you are deploying the reports uh, so target report folder it is going to the sales underscore reports uh, let's say if I don't like that I would like to create a new folder I, I want to say that uh, sales RPTs and here target report part folder if we are deploying any parts of the report that's where it will uh, go very important thing uh, targets server URL so if you go to the uh, report manager the thing you see here it is URL for report manager this is not URL for your report server but we have to provide the report server URL to find the report server URL you can go to the search and then search for SQL server 
reporting. Once you will have type that, it will bring a SQL Server 2014 reporting services uh, configuration or 2012 or 2016, whatever you have installed on your machine. Let's say if you are on your local machine, you would you haven't installed any report server, you would not see this one. So in that case, uh, you have to go to the machine where your report server is installed. So you have to remote and get to the uh, configuration manager and uh, open it. Once you open it, it will show you a few things. You can ask your DBA to provide your report server URL as well. So here it is telling, okay, report server instance name. So I have SQL Server 2014. That's the instance name I have for reporting services. Connect. And now I see web service URL. So that's where the report server URL is. So that's what I need in my case. And uh, here I have a report manager URL. That's the UI I'm using and I have shown you guys right here. So this is a UI uh, where we can uh, create folder, deploy reports and uh, uh, the users can preview or view reports. So we need the report server URL. So let's go back and uh, web service URL and I can open from here. Once I open here, this is the same thing what we see on the other side and in the UI we see them in uh, a little more graphical but here we see more them in directories so we have a data sources directory we have a sales data source there if I click here it is going to open in an XML format so I can see that one and if there are reports I can click on the reports I can see them and if I will open any report let's say if I would like to area chart report it is going to open as well here so right now this report is opening in report server URL and uh, this is a report manager you can also open the reports uh, from the report manager and that's where most of the users will open the reports and view the reports uh, so let's go back to the original and I'm gonna just copy this part I do not need uh, the rest of the part till uh, this part I need so I'm gonna copy and come back to SSDT and provide right here now we are all good and uh, target server version uh, SQL Server 2008 R2 and later. So we have SQL Server 2014. Uh, so all good and apply and OK. Now there are multiple things we can do from here. We can go one by one and deploy or we can click here and deploy everything. So our choice, I'm going to do one at a time. So I'm going to go right click on the data sources uh, deploy and uh, we'll see the status uh, here so output we see that okay it is deploying to the report server at SQL 2014 and uh, it is uh, saying okay build completed and uh, one succeeded so that's where it is deploying and this is the the folder data sources DS sales that's where it provided so let's go back to report uh, server and uh, then here we are going to go to home and now I go to data sources and that's where I will see DS sales and if you notice here this is connecting to my SQL server initial catalog is sales and one more thing it is using Windows integrated security so what does that mean it is using my credential as of now I recommend using a service account or SQL account that should have permission on the database you shouldn't be using Windows integrated security because if the user is viewing this report he would need that permission on this database and instead of providing permission to each and every user uh, who would like to take a look on the report uh, you should have a service account that should have permission on the database level but the user should have only permission to browse the report that's all you need so anyways for my case that's fine I'm gonna live with it if I will go ahead and I have actually created a um, login so I'm gonna call this one SSRS login and uh, let me put the password this login has a uh, uh, read permission on a sales database so I'm gonna uh, test this one apply so our data source is all set next part uh, what we need to do we need to deploy the data set so let's right click here and deploy now this will be deployed in the folder called D set sales uh, and let's go uh, sorry this is called data sets and uh, this will be in uh, name with the D set sales uh, let's go back here in the report manager take a look so we have D set let's refresh because we don't see that the data sets here and we see that D set sales is here if I go ahead and uh, go to manage and I should see that it is using uh, 
data source so right now i know that okay it is using a dss sales data source and if i'm on production and that's not the data source i would like to use i can browse and provide any data source from the data sources that i have deployed let's say i don't want to use ds sales i would like to use a d sales only so i can do that so those are different options once you have that data set share data set deployed to the server you can change the data source for that data set so let's go back to the home and now the last thing is the left is report right click here and deploy sale report so it is called sale report let's go back to the report manager and uh, go to the we have a uh, given a new name sales rpt s so this is our report if i click here this report should run just fine so let's go back to the report and go to the manager so we can see multiple things first of all we would like to see the data sources so you you can tell like okay this is the data source it is using so db sale remember i was telling you, you can name anything in your report this is the name it will pop up right here so from db sale we know that okay it should use something sales related data set so that's how i will uh, kind of make a relationship between your report data source name and actual data source that you have deployed on the report server so i always recommend giving them pretty much the same name so you can relate them second data share data sets now you can go there and see the data sets it is a user so let me go back to the uh, home and show you a few more reports here and uh, show you maybe the difference so if i click here and go to manager and now in this report you do not see any data source why because this report is not using any shared data source that's why so you have data sources that's fine it's just working great but you do not have a data sets so if you go back to your original report that we have deployed here you will go to manage and you will see data source it is using and also shared data set it is using so that's the difference between the report having shared data set and not having shared data set so this is how you will do create a report with shared data set and deploy to the report server and in the next video i'm going to go ahead and create a report from shared data set by using report builder thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next video